Okay, we are now teaching the middle of the Rubik's Cube. So for the middle, you just solve the white. Awesome job, you got the corners right, and look, all of the sides are right for the white top. Okay, we're ready to solve the middle. So the next thing we do is we take the white side and we put it towards the bottom. See, it's on the bottom now. And then what we're gonna wanna do is, you see how this center is green? I wanna put that to green. So look, green lines up, orange lines up, blue lines up, red lines up. The next thing we are going to look at is we are going to look at the center pieces. We only care about these middle. See, middle top, middle top, middle top, middle top. If the middle top has a yellow, it is bad. I'm gonna show you the blue paper for a second. If you look at the middle step right here, you see how it says middle, no yellow, no yellow. So look it, I'm looking at the middle piece again, that has yellow, it's bad, I can't use it. This has yellow, see, yellow, bad, I can't use it. This one has blue and orange, there is no yellow, I can use it, this is good. So I'm gonna turn blue towards blue to make a uh, little upside down T, okay? Now, the next step on the blue paper, just so you can see on the blue paper, in case you wanna use the blue paper, my words are turn opposite. What does that mean? Okay, so let's look again. See, we have our T. What color is our top? It is orange. Now let's look at the two sides. This side has a lot of orange on the bottom. This side has a lot of red on the bottom. Because the top is orange, we wanna turn this top opposite of orange. Remember, orange was over here, so we're gonna turn it opposite of orange. Now we are gonna do a pattern from the paper, and I'll show you the paper in a second. The pattern is, and we're gonna work on the orange side. Why are we working on the orange side over here? Because the top was orange. So we're gonna go up, back, meaning the white's gotta to go to the back, down, and then there's the white again, we gotta put the white to the back again. So it's up, back, down, back, and then face, remember this is the face. We're gonna put face up. See how there's a missing white here? It's right in the back. We're gonna turn the white to the white and drop it. And now that piece that used to be right here in the middle has just went to the side and we're starting to fill in the middle. Okay, but let me show you the paper quick. So remember the paper says no yellow, so we look for the one with no yellow. Then once we got it lined up, we turned it opposite of the top color. And then remember our pattern was up, back, down, back. And you should say that to yourself as you're doing it because it helps you remember the pattern. Up, back, down, back. And then we do face up and we return the white. So let me do two more. You guys are being patient. All right, let's take a look now. We have to see if it's good. Remember we're looking at the middle piece, good or bad? Bad. Why? It has yellow on it. Good or bad? Good, why? Because it has red and green, there's no yellow. So I have to turn red towards red. Now I have my T and now I'm ready, okay? So let's take a look at what color is on the top. Green, this side is green, this side is blue. See the bottoms? We wanna go opposite of green, why? Once again, let's look at the paper. What does it say? No yellow, we did that, now it says turn opposite. So, let me find it, sorry, okay. So remember, the top was green, this was blue. We're gonna turn opposite of green, but we're gonna work on the green side. What's the pattern? Say it with me. Up, back, down, back, face up. Kids have trouble with this the most. Face up means face up. Now there's a missing white. Put white back with white and drop it. Okay, let's do it one more time, this time faster. Yellow bad, yellow bad. Yellow bad, oh, we have a good piece, no yellow. Turn it towards blue, look at the top. Top is red, we wanna go opposite of red. This is the red side, so we're gonna turn it opposite of red top, but we're gonna work on the red side. Let's say the pattern, up, back, down, back, face up, what does that mean? Put the face up, missing white, put the white with the white and drop it, and as you can see, we are solving the middle. One more piece to do, but we're just going to leave it go. Video's long enough. Yeah!